and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hello everyone, drum tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherritt's coming to you live from Rock Army Record Studios doing some drum tuning videos and one of the things I'm talking about in this video is home recording. Now most of us have like an 8 channel interface that we can record our drums with for YouTube videos for recording. It's pretty much the common standard that somebody has in their home. So I built this series with the concept of using 8 drum mics to get the best drum mic sound you can get in your house. This recording studio actually used to be a home, so it's shaped like a home, so it gives me the opportunity to really show you some of the techniques I would use in this environment to get the drum sounds you're about to hear. Now this topic is about overhead placement and overhead phasing, uh, which is an important topic because you want to get a good image of the kit that's easily in phase. You don't have to use too much plugins because if you start with a great sound, you end up with a great sound. Now today we're talking about a three to one ratio with our overheads. Uh, it's basically three foot from the point of wherever you're making it its three foot point. And that way the mics, when you place them around the kit, especially room mics, you get a fair phase. So when these two mics are away from each other, they're in phase. If you want a room mic, you put it at nine feet. And we're going to check out a room mic in a little bit to show you how that phase works at nine feet. But until then, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to getting three to one. Now, there's a lot of ways to do it. You could do it from your bass drum. You could do it from the front of the bass drum. But I find it best to do it from the snare because I do a lot of rock and blues recordings where I want the snare to be present, but I don't want it in the way of the vocal. So one of the best ways to set your phase with the snare and get a great sound with your overheads is do it this way three to one because snares getting everywhere y'all and I do mean everywhere it's in your tom mics your overhead mics your bass drum mic even it is an omnipresent instrument that competes with the vocal especially male vocals like me so I want to make sure I can place it well so let's check out what it takes to get a three to one ratio from the center of the snare all right so I'm going to use this little piece of tape to center up the snare drum so I can get some of these adjustments myself because I got some of the new ultimate uh, supports mic stands that have these beautiful little levers that help me do this by myself. Now when I say three feet from the center of the snare, I go to the center of the snare and I'm coming up here to where basically we have three feet right at the bottom of the diaphragm and that way I have a reference point. Now I'm going to come on over here and check and see what we got here. I'm going to turn this this way so you can see it. So I'm just a smidge off three feet but because these ultimate stands have the little lever with the with the hard side with the flat side I could put this bad boy right here myself one shot there we go diaphragm three feet y'all so let's go ahead and see what a room mic does with phase and without phase when we put it at nine feet using this rule now if you want to see what that looks like we're coming from the center of the snare all the way nine feet away and there she is over there being held by my buddy, right at the tip of the diaphragm. Yeah, nine feet. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of jamming so we can get this room mic added in because we just added it in for these videos so I get to hear what it sounds like. Let's do some rocking and see what the phase does. All right, so now that we've checked it out in and out of phase, you can understand how the three to one rule with your overheads and your room mics helps you sync everything together in a beautiful package that gets a great image of your, of your drum set right there in your own home, especially with these awesome pile microphones, which I'm absolutely loving. I can only imagine what they're gonna be like in a live application of my kit. Until then, let's move on to the snare video and we'll show you some tips about setting your snare mic with this phase. Come on. 